Hey guys, welcome back to another Best Buy haul. I'm gonna show you guys some movies I picked up this week. I'm actually really excited about a few of them. Always trying to add new movies and some old school classics to my movie collection. And you guys are gonna like what you see today. So first things first, let's start off with the movie I bought and I actually watched it as soon as I got home. Been wanting to watch this movie for a while. And Erica kept telling me I could not rent it on Xfinity because she kept saying, you're gonna buy it anyways, so don't waste your money renting it now. And it's Magnificent Seven starring Denzel Washington and Chris Pratt. Really cool movie, guys. We watched this as soon as, well, I watched it. Erica fell asleep about three, about a quarter of the way in. But basically, it's not a Western movie. It is. It takes place, obviously, with a Western, obviously, theme to it. But it's basically about a band of dudes who want to take over this town because there's a mine in the area where they can get gold from. And they end up killing like a lot of the men in the town. And, and this woman leaves and she finds Denzel. And you guys probably saw all of this in the preview. So I'm not spoiling anything. But basically she hires him to kick these guys' asses. And then he ends up uh, meeting up with Chris Pratt. And then they split off. And then they end up building a team. And they call themselves, well at the end, the Magnificent Seven. And so it's basically, you know, about... Good old boys doing good old things, protecting the innocent, and at the end of the movie, there is an epic showdown where lots of people die because it's basically seven against 200. So if you like those kinds of movies and you like those kinds of odds, definitely pick up Magnificent Seven. It was a really fun movie to watch. Next up is actually a pack that I bought, and it's called Born Ulti The Born Ultimate Collection, okay? And they had this on 4K. It was like $99, and I'm thinking, do I really need 4K Blu-rays? No, I don't need those. It looks really good on my 4K TV on regular Blu-ray. This was only $60, and now obviously like a lot of you guys who are Born fans... I did have the previous movies, but I had one, two, and three on DVD, and then I had bought the fourth one with Hawkeye in it, <laughs> not the most popular one. Still good nonetheless. I did buy that one on Blu-ray, but I thought that it would be cool to find, and I knew, I knew as soon as the last Born movie came out, I mean, it's pretty predictable now, guys, to, to maximize money, that I knew that they were going to come out with a collection of all five movies, so instead of buying one, two, and three on Blu-ray, I waited until the fifth one came out, and then I obviously bought the entire collection, so... I have seen, obviously, all these movies. I saw the last, the last Born movie in the movie theater. I thought it was really great. And they did leave it open to do another sequel. Uh, not really a spoiler alert. Um, the movie did end, but they did leave a window of hope for a sequel to come out eventually. Maybe it will. Maybe it'll be, you know, somebody else in the program. Uh, maybe it'll still be um, Matthew Damon. I don't know. Like, we'll have to wait and see when that comes. But definitely a movie that you want to add to your collection. And what's fun about it is you can see him age from one to two. I mean, from, through one, from movie one all the way through five. He still looks pretty good for his age, too, must say. And then we got some classics now. So, picked up Clerks. If you guys aren't fans of Jay and Silent Bob, then you probably won't care that Mallrats 2 will be coming out soon. But if you are a fan, you will care that Mallrats 2 is coming out. And I will say one of my favorite movies of all time from the 90s is Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Actually, I don't even know when that came out. It might have come out early 2000s. Anyways, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. I think that humor is hilarious. Unfortunately, that kind of humor doesn't really work now because they say a lot of things that people will get really pissed about if you say in movies nowadays. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how Mallrats 2 was going to come out, but I did think it was funny. I heard an a interview with um, Kevin where he basically said he was talking, Kevin Smith was talking to his daughter, and he's like, oh, we're making a Mallrats 2, and his daughter said, I didn't know it was a Mallrats 1. <laughs> like, your daughter hasn't seen your own movie, that's horrible. And then a fun fact, actually, Clerks 2 was on TV the other day, and the main character is the two guys that work in the store. It's basically they're trying to figure out their life. Um, this guy right here, I'm horrible with names. I can tell you everything that happens in a movie, I'm horrible with names. But this guy right here, 
his girlfriend in Clerks 2 is actually the nurse in Daredevil. For those of you guys who are watching Daredevil on Netflix, it's funny, as I watch um, newer shows and I go back to movies that I've seen in my younger days, I'm starting to say, oh, that's where that person's from, you know? So that was just a thing I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this movie needs no introduction. Office Space, I was surprised I didn't already have it in my collection, but I missed Black Friday this year because we were in Paris. I saw Office Space. This is actually the first movie I saw like in this bin at the checkout area. Then that's where I did some digging and got Clerks and then the next movie I'm going to show you guys. But if you've never seen Office Space, you have got to see this movie. You can't call yourself a movie buff or a movie critic if you've never seen Office Space. I almost couldn't call myself one because I didn't even own it yet. But now I do, so now I'm good. <laughs> and then the last movie, guys... Um, more of a sentimental movie for me and probably my, my older brother too. Um, it's Tom Hanks' Big. It's a really good movie. I'm not saying it's not, a, it's not a really good movie. It's not a movie that a lot of people probably have seen. A lot of people that I've talked to have seen. But my dad used to play this movie for us when we were kids because we, we loved it for whatever reason. He would play it for us like every Friday when we wanted to watch it on pizza night. He'd play Tom Hanks' Big. And as you guys can see, every movie that has a piano keyboard on the floor that they dance on and play music, they're ripping it off from Big. Um, and I'm gonna stand by that because I don't remember any movies before Big that had a piano keyboard on the floor. And if they did, well, I don't care because this is my childhood. And if they have a piano keyboard in the movie, they ripped it off from Big. And basically what this movie is about is Tom Hanks starts off as a little boy and he's at like an amusement park and he goes up to this like gypsy like game, okay? And you basically have to put the quarter in and the gypsy's mouth is opening and closing, opening and closing and the quarter shoots down a ramp and if you get it in the gypsy's mouth, your wish comes true. He makes a wish to be big and when he wakes up, he turns into Tom Hanks. <laughs> <laughs> and his mom like kicks him out of the house, thinks he's like a child molester or he's kidnapping her son. And then he has to live life as an adult. And it's a really fun movie to watch. If you've never seen it, you definitely have to check it out. So now that I have shown you guys these movies, I can catalog them and put them in my movie closet and add them to the collection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions of movies that I should pick up, chances are I already have them, but still, leave them down in the comments section below. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.